Okay, welcome future viewers. This is where we're going to start the video. I just spent three whole minutes talking to myself with the microphone turned off. Anyway, we haven't started anything. All I've explained is that the Photoshop file for this map went missing. So I've had to uh, basically pull this draft layer down from Twitter. And that's what we're going to work with. And I've only got 50... 50, that's an over-exaggeration. I've got 45 minutes to work with today. So I'm just going to do some busy work doing color blocks for 45 minutes today. And then... I'm going to rush down to the post office because uh, I have a 30 minute window where I can pick up my package. And uh, just in case the microphone being turned off was an indication enough, I'm pretty scatterbrained today, so please bear with me. This is probably going to be rather rough. Oh hey, so we got some Twitch viewers. Welcome everyone. Welcome Salicious, Munchlax, Garamu, Feder Felice, a couple of regulars, a couple of new faces, nice. <laughs> uh, I'm 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 just being dramatic with the bad day thing, Munchlax, don't worry about me. Oh well, thanks Salicious, I'm glad that they're uh, helping to inspire you. That's the goal, isn't it? I've actually I've changed my mind already. Let's not use this color layer in this way. Let's just start blocking in shapes because I'm a bit too scatterbrained today. Plus, I don't have enough time to actually get into like technical painting. I'm just, just going to make masks today. I'm just going to make a bunch of masks. So this is going to be the, the ground mask. So I'm happy we've got a few viewers joining us because it's um, a rather boring stage otherwise. So. I mean, no it's not. You future viewers should definitely stick around. I will try and insert whatever interesting little lessons come to mind if I have anything to offer today. DM? Yeah, I do. It's delicious. Um, like once every three weeks, uh, my brother and I both DM for the same group, different campaigns, and we take turns. We alternate back and forth. Uh, so this Monday coming, it's his turn to DM. My turn to be a player. I guess let's let's, let's put these still. It's, building layer. All this layering business might be... Oh, you know what, I think I've changed my mind again. Let's do, let's do a layer for buildings and land. And just chuck those trees on a separate layer because they're going to have a whole different style to them. But we can definitely afford to put kind of the hard edges of the building buildings and land on this layer. I'm not entirely sure if this brush is has like hard enough edges for me to use the fill tool later. I'm sort of just counting on it. So we're just gonna block in the silhouette basically. <laughs> silhouette of everything except the trees um, I did 
take... We're off to a pretty slow start this month, which is pretty typical. Um, well, it's just been a busy week catching up with friends. Made a trip to the city. Been doing other little to-do list items that are besides two-minute tabletop work. So only now and only now am I getting into the real swing of two-minute tabletop stuff for this month. So. Over the next, like, rest of the month, it should be more, um, oh, background music is high? Yeah, I can fix that. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, this should be better. Let me know if that's too loud. Sorry, I've been, I've been working and kind of neglecting Twitch chat, so I hope that wasn't too long ago. Okay, cool, cool. It's better. So, yeah, as I was saying, I'm just now getting back into the routine of drawing every day. So I should be getting back to uh, streaming every day now. Uh, you know, if I'm allowed to. This is not at all symmetrical. Why is that? Which which end is better? I mean, I'll be streaming at least an hour. That's kind of my plan is if I can just do an hour a day, then I should stay on top of things. I gotta keep a very close eye on the time because I have a very brief half hour window today where I can collect my parcel from the post office. Okay, yeah, we can use the fill tool, that's cool. <clears throat> I think I probably said that already. So what, what else, what else did I say before I realized the microphone was turned off? Uh, there's the bit about the PSD file going missing. This map, uh, when I first start maps, I just keep them on the desktop. Um, later on in the work process, I start backing them up to the cloud and on my external hard drive. Hadn't done that for this one yet. And the desktop PSD file, it's gone. Who knows where it went? I did a bunch of searches in places on my computer where I usually keep them and nowhere to be found. It's not in my well, I could see where it was in my recently changed files list. And uh, check there, yeah, it's gone. So maybe there's a, a ghost trying to sabotage me or something, but anyway, we've recovered the draft layer, this one. This is why we're missing. Uh, all I did was pull it down off Twitter, the little preview I posted there and converted it to a fill layer so it's really really scrappy looking now but at least it serves its purpose so crisis averted because i really like the map so if, if we lost everything we worked on i'd be rather sad Maps folder is a total mess. Yeah, mine too until I took some time aside to organize it a bit the other day. But uh, usually I know what I'm looking for and I can just use the search to find it. So, 
inside. It's not it's not super important that it mines organized. Uh, do I use my own maps? I have once. I mean, I, I draw my own maps, but not not the two minute tabletop maps. I don't usually use primarily because my players see when I release them. So they're not exactly surprised if I bust out a two minute tabletop map. And um, and also because uh, my campaign currently is set in like a wintry Japan analog. So that really narrows down the maps that I can use. First of all, or any buildings need to have like a Japanese theme to them and like preferably, I guess, also be snowy with like general battle maps. So I'm, uh, we just play with a whiteboard, which I've carved some grid lines into with a box cutter. So I can draw anything I need at the table. It's nowhere near the quality of two minute maps, but uh, you know, my players have a good sense of imagination. But I, I do try and surprise them once in a while with an old map that they've all forgot about. I, uh, I use the the Forgotten Crypt. Yeah, they, they went on a little adventure in the Forgotten Crypt map. That was good fun. I was like revealing room by room as they were exploring. <laughs> I know what you mean. Salicious, yeah. Um Okay, well that's that's decent. Like that's a that's an okay silhouette. Maybe I'll make this like a stone foundation over here since it looks like a, a bit too serious a building for a, some wooden stilts. Like the wooden stilts make sense anywhere on this map. I don't know. Yeah, mine too, I think. I've had one dungeon before, but it was basically just a glorified tunnel. But the, the Forgotten Crypt, yeah, that's a decent little maze of a dungeon. And I, I threw some traps in there, another little dungeon must-haves. They had a great time. Almost died, so that's a good sign. How did your players go in the in the crypt, Salicious? How close to death did you bring them? Okay, this is going to become... Let's just chuck this here. I'm going to do like a background, mid-ground, foreground kind of thing here, I think. That'll make things easy later. It's kind of today's job is making my job when I actually do the painting a little easier. So these buildings back here are in the background. Pretty much everything else will be foreground. So. Hey, snowy maps. I think this month we'll be doing, drawing some desert maps. So those won't be too useful to you. A crypt of a brothel. You mean like the basement? Or is it where they bury the women? The 
run 20 NPCs. I, I learned that lesson myself the hard way. <laughs> Alright, this is our mid ground. Let's change these colors to something intelligent. We'll go with like a red palette just for now. We have like a we have a red and then we have a red and we have another red. Next red shall be the foreground, but we're going to paint in purple for now for the high contrast. I'm sorry, Munchlux. This is why I didn't stream before now, because I, I tend to mindlessly say some uh, picketed things. So the question now, what are we going to put in the foreground? Should I do a building layer too? Like, I mean, where's this foreground going to begin? I'm thinking like here. That's kind of foreground stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's a cool little unique place. Salacious, nice, nice. Here we got some, uh, this brush will be pretty decent because we're trying to simulate, I've also lost my reference image when the PSD went missing, but we're trying to simulate like that thick brush, the painting brush, ink brush, that's so I iconic to old Japanese paintings. And I feel like this is a pretty good analog, so long as we don't get too squarey with it. I guess, uh, I guess this layer will kind of fade up into the stairs. Actually surprisingly warm today. may not even use these layers at all. We're gonna have to see. A little behind on sleep. I'll, I'll make better decisions tomorrow, I promise. It's gonna be interesting to do these kanji as well. Uh, so should I just, I think I'll just blur this work from there. Give it a bit of a blur and then we can work with this gradient. that this is one of those art days where I just I can't art today so I'm doing the uh, part of the work process which doesn't involve kind of any skill. I'm just coloring in big blocks of color. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be back in the, the right mindset. I 
that's rather encouraging. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I didn't send out any uh, twi Twitter messages, tweets, as some people call them. So to see that six people are still tuning in. Thanks. Just got another 20 minutes in me and then I got to take off. This makes uh, very little sense, this staircase. Whew. Oh, hey, Felix Young Lur. Am I saying that right? And thanks for the uh, uh, patronage. Much appreciated, huh? Seriously. I'm getting really into this Japanese map. I almost spoke Japanese by accident. Um, what can I, I suppose I just need those reference images again and maybe two hours more sleep and then I'll be able to do a nice map. I can do a map then. Well, you know what? Trees are pretty fun. Though if I'm going to do a tree, I also need a reference image. So we've made a little progress here. I think maybe that's something I can do is this cloud we're going to throw in here. Let me just get a real big brush first. I'm thinking like this little corner here, a little corner, it's a rather big corner, isn't it? It's going to be a cloudy area that will kind of be the highlight behind our town name. Not sure if a big, like if we're trying to replicate the painting style, then why is this white with this brushy edge? Like, they didn't have white ink, did they? Like the cloud? Thanks. Maybe we'll put a bit of cloud down here too. At the, like... You know, this mountain's kind of poking out the top of the clouds. So these background's going to be clouds too, obviously. Probably a bit bigger. I'm looking at this thumbnail over here to make sure... Our composition is not ruined. Um, glad you like the cloud, but we may redo the cloud completely at a later date if I can think of a better, better method. Sorry, Solutions, I'm actually so new to Twitch, I don't know how to let you post a link. Because I would, I would like to see them. Maybe if you are having to be a patron, you can put it on the community tab. Lots of people like sharing map as uh, custom-made maps there. Ah, perfect, thanks. Down for maintenance. What are you up to, Patreon? Okay, shouldn't really bother with too much detail on the clouds yet. See, especially this puffy cartoon style. It's not at all what we're going to end up with, so... 
I'm just wasting time right now. Let me pull up these reference images. I just want to find some references that we can shamelessly steal the technique of. Okay. We'll just make a whole folder of them. Um, and keyboard's in a bad place. I would name this reference images, but I'll do that at a later date. And it should be above the draft layer. So you can see there's rather a lot of color in these. There's a few variations of this particular one. Okay, here's a good reference image for our clouds. This is kind of what we're going for, right? Kind of precisely what we're going for with the mountains. Uh, let me zoom in here. So there's rather a lot of white and then this kind of watercolory edge to it. Maybe I can get a bigger image than this. Actually a whole lot in this kind of style. Oh, this is, by the way, this is a Chinese painting. So I wouldn't want to mix those two up. None of these images in this folder are mine, by the way. Um, I do not intend to imply that I created them. Yeah, these are all... Interesting, interesting. Well, okay, that's the biggest image there is, so I can't get a larger one, but... Hey, Imagination Studio. So there's kind of a wide range of detail. We can use like here's a mountain scene. Here's a different one that's rather a lot more simple. Uh, it's Okay, this, this one here is a rather, this one here is a good reference image. This is kind of the style that I primarily want to replicate. Uh, we have one very big, bold color in the, the sun. And then the rest is rather like impressionistic watercolor blotches. So you can see, I think this brush that we have here would do a decent job. So maybe, maybe a rounder brush would be the way to go. And then this watercolor, we're going to need a texture to kind of replicate the paper. And we're going to need to be rather smart with our smudge tool. And maybe even go find some watercolor brushes from the internet. We'll see.
I'll just chuck this one in too. Well, that looks like this is by the same artist, right? It's got the same style and all that. Or maybe it's just a bunch of people replicating the same kind of idea. And I'm going to add mine to the pile. But yeah, so this is why I've been uh, separating background, mid-ground, foreground. So that we can get these strokes. That's basically how these mountains work. In layers like that. With like a misty substance in between. So this one's going to be our primary inspiration. We might use one color. We might use two. I was thinking we use a distinct color for our blossoming trees and a distinct color for our place markers. But anyway, what we need, basically we need to change this whole cloud style to replicate uh, either this cloud style or this one. I'm thinking this one, since this one's just a tad too simple. Like this one with kind of the watercolory edge. And otherwise quite a like a fluffy foamy cloud. Um, I I've defaulted to my style of cloud, which is big. What kind of cloud is that? The cumulus cloud, I think. Big fluffy clouds like we have outside right now, in fact. Uh, I just got done with a big storm last night. Maybe maybe it was when a power cut, maybe it deleted our Photoshop file and that's where it went who knows so let's just kind of cut down on the edge here and then what kind of brush maybe just this one but smaller or maybe even like this one let's let's give it a shot Yeah, if we're rather finicky with this one, then we can work it out. You'll see, uh, I'm going to use the smudge tool to get those kind of mm, semi-transparent areas, the gradient between the mountain and the cloud. Yeah, Imagination Studio. Apparently Patreon's got maintenance going on right now. It usually happens when I'm trying to post something, so I'm kind of grateful it's happening right now. When it's just Salisha's trying to post something. And then, rather large smudge in here, but there's going to be a couple more stages to this. Smudge, smudge. I've never quite tried this before, so we're just going to see if it works. And if it doesn't work, maybe I'll cut this bit out and pretend it never happened. Oops, I'd like that to be. Hold on. I'd like this one to be black, please. So I'll kind of just edge this in. If we achieve nothing else today but getting this cloud right, then hey, progress. somewhere in here which is like this one but a lot more texture to it I think it's just the oh golly where would it be this one 
This might be the way to go. Yeah, that's rather like what I want. And we can just kind of ruffle these edges up a bit. I must say, I've been playing Three Kingdoms, Total War, the Total War game set in um, ancient China, and uh, their UI is just sublime. It's all in this inky style, and uh, I really like it. So that's kind of what I'm trying to channel right now. <clears throat> Okay, I quite, I quite like when we drag this shade in here. Oh, you like it too? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. I really enjoy all of the like character dynamics, the whole grudge and friendship system. That's a really good addition to the game, I think. Okay, so these clouds are pretty cool. Yeah, they're okay. They're not quite the style I want, but I think next time I come back, I think that. I think it's just a, it's still a bit too puffy. Like let's let's keep looking back at this. Like this has quite a hard edge, right? And then there's just kind of mid tone. So this kind of it's just two tone. Whereas I've got a lot more going on. I think let's just find a mid tone. Lock in some real mid toney areas. So this is where I want my mid tones. And then we need that kind of edge to it that they have. This is kind of like a an art study with Ross more than a let's make a battle map together today, guys. I think I want this all brush again, but bigger. So we got a mid-tone. And then this one. This just sort of has that foamy cloud kind of edge to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this better, what we have going now. It's like a real rough foamy edge. I'm, I'm not sure how else to... Okay, well, in any case, it's inevitable that we add our own kind of stylistic spin to the art style. So uh, it's not it, it's not a huge deal if we can't pull it off precisely. But I think we've done a decent job here. We've we've kind of given it a good effort, and I'll probably come back to it another time after I'm rested. Maybe even tackle it with a different brush again. Oh, you like them? Thanks. Yeah. Um, a lot. A lot of my kind of method for getting interesting shapes is drawing things in reverse, uh, especially if all we wanted was a, a line that looked nice like this, I'd first draw the line and then I'd come back with the eraser and in cutting back into that line, 
you can make it a much more kind of interesting shape. This is a very bad example, but maybe maybe that still makes sense. In any case, we're going to be using that technique in a lot of different areas on this map. But I, I do highly recommend it. It's a great way to hide the brush you're using. Is kind of the working in reverse method. Um, using the brush and the eraser in equal portion. I don't like this shape here. Maybe this white has to come back a bit. I don't know. I think I think the clouds will be easy to work on when we've got stuff happening behind them. But we've struggled with them enough for for right now. I mean right now it's it's a decent enough kind of abstract map, isn't it? Okie dokie. So maybe I shall block in some buildings in this kind of style here. Now we're not going to have, or should we have so much mist that we're pretty much just outlining shapes? Maybe we can try that, huh? So let's just hide these for now. And then I'll just pick up a real... Oh. Yeah, what time did I say I have to leave? Pretty much. Please excuse me while I think about my private affairs on stream. Silently. I'll stream for another 10 minutes. I can do that. It's just, I have to, it's not so private, I was kind of over-exaggerating. I just have to pick up the post today before the post office closes. I have a 30 minute window where I can pick it up, otherwise I have to wait until tomorrow. And I'd like to turn tomorrow into just a get stuff done day. So what exactly am I doing now? I didn't really think before I started what we should really do. Get a nice, nice brush. And then we're going to try and paint these buildings in, in kind of this style. So you can see whoever painted this was using a brush about yay big, about yay thick. And just painting in like little detail stripes with some big blocks. And then there's still a bit of Kind of play with light color so uh, let's I haven't got so much detail on these so we're gonna figure it out as we go pretty much like this and this color isn't final so and this is where we're gonna also cut back into our line just to give it a more kind of brush pen look. I mean, I know I could just print this out and do it with actual brush pens, but I'm not confident that I could pull the look off first go, which is necessary when you're working with ink and paper. So that's why we're doing this one digitally. Let's give a little peeks on these ends. Going for a simple outline first. Maybe we can. So 
So I'm getting the necessary lines in first. And then later on, we'll see how much we can get away with, with like little detail lines. Perhaps with a smaller brush for them. Uh, Felix Jung Lu, I'm still not, still probably mispronouncing your name. Uh, I'm living in Australia right now for the next uh, six months at least as well. So not the most convenient time zone to be streaming like a predominantly American tabletop game content, but doing the best I can. Not sure if I want to keep the little peak on this side. Kind of, uh, no, I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna block in the, maybe the roof, we'll copy this star and the roof will be a rather dark built-in area. So we have some more buildings on this one. And these pretty much just have simple outlines and shapes to them with some color blocks inside. That could be an interesting one, interesting style too. I'm not entirely sure if this is Japanese or Chinese, but uh, it, uh, it certainly looks Japanese to me. tell I don't see any uh... yeah who knows okay well let's see what we feel like if this is blocked in kind of the roofy areas looks Japanese right Welcome, Jack. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm still a very much a beginner at my Japanese, so it's beyond my expertise. Let's uh, hide this draft layer since it's just kind of confusing things. Uh, Jack, I have to apologize. This is a very short stream and you've come right at the tail end of it. Um, already planning on on my escape as I have to I have to go out. I've got other errands that have to happen today. We need a smaller brush for this. Let's let's think about using like a 30 as our stand brush size. And we can sneak in our kind of detail lines. I wonder if a door would be appropriate. I wonder if I need some more reference images because I don't have much in the way of buildings. I have a feeling this map is going to be a lot of experimentation and a lot of uh, uncertainties, but I think it'll be I think it'll be a fun little study. Yeah, this is just a short stream today, but tomorrow, um, possibly tomorrow, not the next day, because that's Sunday is going to be my the day where I actually get to play D&D. But Monday, Monday looks like it'll be a solid day of drawing. Also, I'll also put in a good chunk tomorrow. So if you're all up at this time tomorrow, please do stop by. What time is it? 3.50. Yeah. Okay, well... 
Let's let's uh, have a look what we have so far. So we've we've made good progress, guys. We've uh, blocked in some layers, which will be useful to us later. We've made a solid start on the clouds, and we've started playing around with our building style. Um, next time, I'm going to pull up a bunch more reference images, especially buildings. Like we may go with this style. Uh, it's a very bad reference photo, very low resolution, but I can see that they've got very thin brush strokes for like the columns of tiles they have on the roof, just details, and then like a solid color block behind the line work. Maybe we'll try that style. Otherwise, I do still like this style. We may go with turning this whole thing into a black and white layered affair, kind of like these mountains back here, just layers of gradient brush strokes, like silhouettes, like make this a very foggy mountain. Kind of like the effect we have going here, but much more black and white and much more detail mixed in. But uh, yeah, I'm glad you like it so far, Salicious. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. We've got up to eight videos, eight videos, eight viewers without putting any tweets out. So that's encouraging. But I'm off to do other things today. Um, I'll be thinking about this map and hopefully we'll get off to a strong start tomorrow. Okay. Uh, and hopefully I remember to turn my microphone on tomorrow before I, whoop, before I uh, do three minutes of talking. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, thanks everyone. Good to see all you regular folk in the chat. I'll be back around the same time tomorrow. So hopefully I'll see you then. Bye-bye.